Right, we still got Gunzo on a muzzle because I don't totally trust him yet. It's going to take a little bit of time, but he's got the right temperament. He's going to be fine. He's just been been nailed in a dog fight and had to switch the switch and took him to a, a place that wasn't wasn't a good spot. And then the owners don't know how to balance out the psychology involved with it, which is not their fault. They're not a, not a professional, so it just takes time. Huh, Gunzo? Gunzo, good looking boy. Yes, you are. You're a good looking boy. We're going to recover you. Yes, we are. Slow but sure. Once I feel I can trust him without the muzzle, I'll stick taking the muzzle off and we'll start. He lights up on that kennel all the time, though. Yes, he does. Hung on to. Huh? Yeah. He says, I get into affection. He's showing affection and doing all kinds of good stuff, so that's good. I just introduced him to the feral bitch online on property, and I knew she was going to get a little cross with him. And as soon as she did, he, <laughs> he didn't bark once. Didn't go, didn't uh, show any... Uh, reactive behavior but he would have if she would have kept fighting so i've got to make sure it's a positive thing not a negative I tried to talk her through it and she wasn't having none of it it's a different dog and she's got a lot of a wild nature to her so she's going to communicate in a very normal natural fashion boys don't come nearer if they're not in the right frame of mind huh gunzo huh yeah good boy we're gonna see if i can keep that from getting into a sore yeah good boy good but now i'm able to get mess with his face in the home run yard so we're we're getting a lot better he's not trying to bite me anymore and not being as defensive he's trusting now right good boy yeah it's good huh a couple more days we'll have that muzzle off of you and then we'll start working you for real okay just don't trust it totally yet your brain's not totally balanced yet yeah it takes a little time till you stop flashing yeah good boy huh yeah, it's a boy i'm sorry it happened yeah and the owner, I met her today when she came to put the, the muzzle on. And what I sensed in the owner's relationship with the dog is she's not, um, she's not the alpha wolf. You know, she's asking instead of telling and instead of uh, having the right assertive body language and understanding social pressure and a lot of the psychology that goes into this, she needs to balance her relationship. So it's relationship dynamic. And they need to work on that because after the dog had the trauma, she wasn't able to fix it because she doesn't have that dominant nature. The dog starts feeling it needs to do it because it doesn't trust her, right? So I just did that with the feral bitch. I just actually, when the feral bitch turned around and snapped at him and started getting cocky, I right away came, no, and I, I did the correction. I wanted to let him see that I was the dominant force. I'm there to be the dominant force. I will take care of this. You don't need to, right? That's the thing. The dog starts feeling they need to, and they don't stre sense strength in you, and you're not balancing that relationship dynamic properly with the proper dog psychology and and then you've got a problem right so there's where we're at it's just a matter of me having the experience the customer not and we just got to educate the customer on the back side of this otherwise a dog like this that's so intelligent so smart will end up backsliding the behavior because the owner is not fulfilling that psychological need and being the dominant force within their relationship. Remember what I said, dominance isn't having to alpha roll the dog. That's not what we're talking about. It's doing things in our behavior, in our environment that says that I am the dominant force in the environment and I will take care of this. You don't need to, I will, right? And when the dog feels that it needs to, it ends up making bad decisions, right? It doesn't understand, you know? So you have to be the alpha force in the, in the relationship and like I did with that that uh, feral bitch, I just chased her away. Ah, and I made a big show of it to make him learn that I'm the one that's going to take care of it. You don't have to, right? And so I ride away. And there's timing involved with that, right? The timing has to be exact. It has to be right at the moment. You can't, the dogs live in the moment. When we say that, we're serious, guys. That's the big thing with dog training. The timing is so critical. And how we do, because the dog views everything from that, right? Hot and cold. If I touch this, ouch, it hurts, right? So right away, when that bitch came around and started snapping and I'm coming at him, I right away put myself in between it and a lot of loud noise, and you get out of here. And, and I took the, the aggressive stance, right? And he, he learns from that. He'll see me do that. He'll understand that I've got his back. I'm there to take care of him. He doesn't need to worry about it, right? Good boy. Get to my bubba, huh? Get to bubba. Yeah. All right, so we're done with this session. Another walk around the property. I'll do it tomorrow morning. I'll keep making uh, hot dogs and all that good stuff and still get to know him for a couple days until I sense that I can trust him not flashing on me and going off on me because he knows I'm there to be his buddy. I'm there to be his buddy, huh? Yeah, good boy, good. And we're getting there, right? I almost want to take off the, the muzzle now, but I know that we needed a couple more days, right? A couple more days, just tomorrow probably. The morning walk and a lot of hot dogs tomorrow and in and out of the kennel and going over to the table and off and on. 
on to that table and him starting to learn that I'm I'm a good guy. I'm not a bad guy. I'm here to help you. Yes, I am. More to the bubbles, huh? Yeah. He says, I like that head scratch because my head, my head feels all screwed up because of this damn muzzle. Good boy. Good. Yeah, yeah, go. Good boy. Yeah. We got to get that muzzle on and off of you, though. So we're going to start doing that as our first training trick is putting the muzzle in the hand, excuse me, the food in the hand, and then the muzzle onto the face on and off real easy. And so he learns to, to learns the command muzzle and he learns to put it on. Why? Because we never know when the customer may, may need a tool like this, right? We've already got him at, at the spot where he's got it on him. So why not make it a very positive association to actually learn to, to put his head into the muzzle and that's what we're going to be working on when we say muzzle he'll know what it means and he'll put his head in it right yeah so then we'll have a tool when we need it huh yeah good boy all right mark frosh protect dog training and gunzo that's in for an aggressive problem he got attacked by another dog and that dog fight flipped the switch and then he didn't want to trust anybody and he wanted to be the one that was the assertive assertive dominant force in the relationship and not the owner and that's what we got to do we got to teach the owner to have that um that energy that comes from the owner that says i've got this right i'm the one that's in control not you and you follow my lead not the other way around right good dog good dog huh yeah go bubba son no no more screw no no mama daddy da bubba's yeah no more growling at me no more teeth he's doing good yeah all right mark for protect dog training signing off